Okay, let's see, where did we leave off? Um, calculus. Excuse me. Ugh. Okay. Um. <coughs> oh. um, for the following exercise, determine over what intervals, if any, the mean value theorem applies. Justify your answer. Yeah, you don't want any uh, discontinuities. Okay. Right. And um, yeah, we want uh, derivative to exist in the interval and it to be a continuous um, closed interval and differentiable in the open interval. So 152 looks like um, everything will do 153 um, um hmm now that's interesting can it be infinite not really because that's to be closed so either Either, um, whoops, hmm, it can't be, can't be, um, zero, so that we'll have to go A to B, um, A is less than B, and, um, either, um, a is positive and B is positive or um, A is negative and B is negative. So, so we don't cross over the zero. I wonder if that's what they say at the back now. Uh, one fifty two. Interesting. You can include infinity. Yeah, and I guess I did say that in the first one, but what's confusing me is I thought the definition. Okay, so but I should have said here. Um, A and B, um, just any A and B, but where, where, okay, um, hmm, let's see, the mean value theorem, let F be continuous over the closed interval and differentiable over the open interval, then it exists at least one point such that, yeah, so, It's weird. One, one, 154 is, is a little bit easier. Um, it has to go from minus 2 to 2. Whereas 155, that's a bit different. You need it to be at least 2. So 2 to B where B is more than two, or um, my, um, A to minus two, where A is less than minus two. Um, let's check the answers. 
<laughs> Why are these intervals open though? Am I, doing, I must be doing something wrong. 156. Um, we need 3x minus 5 to be positive. So 3x greater than 5. So x greater than 5 over 3. So that would be a to b, where a is some number greater than 5 over 3, and b is greater than a. But I'm truly perplexed here, because if I, if I look at the mean value theorem, where's it gone? There's Rolle's theorem. Uh, and then where there's the mean value term let f be continuous over the closed interval a b and differentiable over the open interval a b then there exists at least one point c such that this for the following exercise, determine over what intervals, if any, the mean value theorem applies. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Um, maybe they're trying to have a state the set that A and B belong to. So like, so like here it would be all the reals and here the A and B would be again um, all the reals, but you can't have it, you can't have it discontinuous in the middle. So the A and B have to be on the same side, which isn't really captured in the answer. So I, I I feel like um yeah, I feel like the answer could have been expressed better. And it's making me feel like I should open a ticket on this one. And I think I will, if nobody's mentioned yet. And I think I'll leave it there for today. Um because then Next time is tech questions. So, yeah. Okay, let's leave it there. Um, thanks for watching.